Hello everyone, welcome back to Kitchen Moods. Today I will be preparing for you lupin flour high protein patties filled with ground beef. And the ingredients will be one and a third cup of lupin flour, half a cup vital wheat gluten, one third of a cup of protein powder, half a teaspoon of xanthan gum, one tablespoon of dry yeast, one tablespoon of sugar or honey, and those will be our dry ingredients and I will give them a whisk to combine them well. Then I will add three quarter cup of warm water and start mixing. While I'm mixing, I will add a pinch of salt. When my mixture has formed a dough, I will knead it for approximately 10 minutes until very well combined and holding together. Now I forgot to add a quarter cup of vegetable oil, so I'm adding it now and kneading again and hoping for the best. Then I will cover my dough with a towel and will leave it in a warm place for at least two hours. And now my dough has approximately doubled in size. I'll then cut my dough into eight pieces. I will then divide the dough into eight pieces and form balls and let them rest for 15 to 30 minutes. I will then spread evenly the dough with a roller. This dough is so wonderful, it's not sticky, so spreading it is really easy. For the filling, I'm using some leftovers of seared ground beef. I'll usually add a 1 tablespoon of vegetable oil into a large pan and sear the minced meat along with onions, garlic, pepper and all the spice I like until it's well cooked. I will add approximately 1.5 tablespoon of the filling along with a small piece of mozzarella cheese in the center of my dough. Be careful not to put too much filling in the patty to make sure that you're able to seal it properly. I will squeeze firmly with my fingers the two sides of the patty together. Then I will use a little fork to make sure that it's really properly sealed, just like that. I will repeat the same process for all the patties and then will place them in a baking sheet covered with parchment paper and will preheat my oven on 350 degrees. Then I will brush them with egg wash. At this stage, you can also sprinkle them with sesame seed, currant seeds, fennel seeds, or any other type of seeds you prefer. Give them your special taste and a special looks as well. I took my patties out of the oven after approximately 25 minutes or until they become golden, just like that. And I want to show you how they look from the inside. You see they are holding together really well. I hope you will like this recipe as much as I do. Macros and ingredients are listed down below in the description box. And until the next time.